run this, uh, not run it, but we're about to go follow behind Garrett and this McLaren. Garrett's Mustang has uh, about 850 horsepower or so. It's a Whipple 3 10 speed. Uh, it runs like high fours, like 470, 480. And then uh, this McLaren is a 720S with um, a tune, like I think like downpipe tune or something like that. So it's gonna be fucking spicy. Uh, but I was just gonna follow behind him and see how it, how his race does, um, and then I'm just gonna kind of I'll be close, but not too close. And then there's a fucking bike. It's like a Jixer seven. <laughs> Again, what are we doing, Justin? Oh yeah, bus yeah. John. <laughs> bus John, he said. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We've got a uh, got a race we're about to go to, and hopefully the transmission does good. Um, first drive this morning, it did fine, but we may go fire this thing up now and be totally screwed. Um, and then we've got 30 minute long. Um, adaption process that we've got to do so here's to hoping that we make it there without any problems and then when we go out here's to hoping that it does the same thing um so what we're racing is a s550 10 speed twin turbo mustang he's got a helion twin turbo kit 6266s on ethanol full fuel system built 10r80 with a converter in it um full drag pack i mean it's a thousand horsepower car that's what these cars make when they're turned up and i'm sure he's going to turn it up for me um there's been some talk back and forth nothing crazy just chit chat and we finally want to see you know whose car's faster we're, so we're going to find out so we'll see what happens in our testing earlier it was spinning really badly in fact it's spinning so bad that it's running slower on more boost because of the spin than it was on less boost. So I don't know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be all top end. Um, so we'll see how this fares. Um, transmission's getting really hot, like really hot between shifts. It felt like it was slipping a little bit going into fourth and fifth. Um, didn't feel like traditional tire spin going into the into the gears. It felt like it was a bit of a transmission slip. So it was also 260 degrees. Yeah, and the transmission temps got to like 260. So it's a little cooked. Um, so we'll see what happens. Nothing really has changed on the car since last time. It's all exactly the same. Next gen 6870 ethanol DCT transmission. We're on Mega Sport 3, 
Pro Evo and DCT is controlled by HTG GCU. Got three Hellcat pumps. Um, 1700X injectors. Logs look good for fuel. It's, it's a little fat it's in the tens, high tens, low elevens on um, higher boost, but you know, I, I don't know really how this car is going to do. I'm, I, I feel like the engine's making the power, but the transmission's not putting it down. I don't know how to, how to explain it. It doesn't, it feels like it's shifting between gears, but it just, I don't know, for some reason the car feels really slow today, but it's like 100 degrees outside. So the temps are really killing us. Um, so anyways, we're about to go run this guy. Like I said, it's a new Mustang with 1,000 horsepower and a built trans. So it's fast. Uh, car was built by DSG. It's a shop in Texas somewhere. They did a good job on it. The owner seems to be really happy with it. Um, I'm sure he'll tell us more about it whenever we get there. But until then, we're kind of letting the car cool off because we just beat the shit out of it for a little while. And we're going to let it cool off. When we get there, we'll make sure tire pressures look good, and we're going to do a 60 to 150. See how it goes. I was trying to do 40 mile an hour rolls. Uh, I'm sorry, 60 mile an hour rolls in fourth, leaving in fourth on the anti lag, but it just doesn't get off the line fast enough. I mean, it does, but I feel like third gear gives it a better shot, especially after 80. It's going to be kind of um, towards 90, 95. Whenever it shifts, it's going to be really putting a a bit more power to the ground um, so we'll see how that fares this is probably going to end up being a spin fest for me the last mustang that i raced i spun so bad that i just couldn't even attempt to keep up so um and that was a turbo mustang and that was a, a, a long time ago really in the grand scheme of things of this build that was on a different tire setup i didn't have an alignment now i got an alignment that i think is good but I'm just straight up overpowering um, the tires. So I don't know if we need to bump the compression up in the rear or what, but I don't really wanna make any drastic changes right before we're go, gonna go out there and race. So anyways, um, we're gonna drive out there and see what happens. I feel you. Wanna give a rundown on your car? Yeah, I'll give you a rundown. So John, yours is a uh, yours is a Hellion twin turbo kit with some Hellion twin turbo hybrids kit. on there. Yeah, hybrids. Uh, Hellion twin turbo sleeper kit. It's got uh, four innovations: fuel system, dual pump, uh, injector dynamics injector. Which pump? Hellcats. Hellcat. Yeah. Pumps. Hell yeah. They dual Hellcat. Kit Hell pumps. yeah, Hellcat. Uh, tuned by Rob Shoemaker. You know, easy go. Easy go. That's it. Look at him. DSG. Yeah. And then it's full interior. I mean, this is a street car. AC. Got the scramble on the on the wheel. What is it? Yeah. Built 10 R80 with a with a uh, converter, right? Built 10 R80 with a servo D torque converter. Nice. I got a DSS one piece aluminum drop shaft. Nice. Uh, G force axles. Got some suspension work done. It, yeah, it's got BMR minimal drop drag springs on it. Yeah. Uh, other than that, man, it's really, really this car is a simple ass build. Yeah. Like, it ain't got a lot to it, but it works good. Yeah. Well, it's been busting everybody's ass. Yeah, it works busting good. Busting a ZR1 well, and then Garrett's. I know, you, I know you ran Garrett down and you ran the 720S down, so you running them down, I know that. It's going to be a good run. It, it, it's going to be a it's good gonna be It's going to be a good run. Yeah. Everything excellent. I just hope. Yeah, for sure. I just hope that we don't go out there and spin. Well, let's see what happens with the spins. Let's come to a mutual agreement afterwards and see if it was good. And because I, I, I can tell you now, I'm going to 100 percent. Like, it's well, just how bad is it gonna do it? And when you're gonna do it? Oh fuck yeah! I'm gonna spin. You get no sandbag? I should have. You wanna ride in the trunk? Yeah, I'll ride. All right, that. Shit. Yeah. He said that um, his car, it's got a fresh tune on it from Shoemaker. And they just bumped the timing up, so he's got. Yeah, yeah, he's giving it like a lot, of, like all the power. Yeah, but so he, he said, said that. He, told him to do this shit. he said that. Um, he's going on his channel, so he gonna turn that bitch up. Yeah. <laughs>
to. Yeah. I started pulling and I was like, oh, no, I don't need it just yet. I look at you, you. <laughs> Now we're gonna run a ZR1. He's being trailered. It's a race car. So what's the setup, Jeremy? That's exactly what I told John. You know that? Stage three cancer is what I said. But it's a it's a supported stock blower, right? Yeah. Supported stock blower on E, cam. Oh, stock motor. Stock gun open motor. Stock motor. Okay. Stock motor with a ported stock blower. Yeah. Oh, what you used to call that in the Volkswagen days? Oh. <laughs> OEM, OEM plus. plus. <laughs> it's an OEM plus ZR1. Uh, him and Garrett were pretty much dead even. So we're gonna see how this how this fares. Pretty sweet car. I think a ZR1 it's is the back. cheat code. The, the, not the cheap code. The cheat code. It's probably on like a 315. Wow. Oh, 275. Oh, we're on the same tire. No shit. Oh, this is going to be a good race. Sweet. There it is. Stock ZR1. Stock bottom in. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, you know, I guess what they consider like max effort factory, whatever they want to, max effort, yeah. Cool. This will be fun. It's going to be a good race. I told him they didn't want to, but it's all good. It's all good. That's a fire. That's a fireball. Grab that. Grab that uh, fire extinguisher out there. Down the Where you see a fireball? Where you see fire? That's why I didn't want to ruin this. This lady don't say stuff like, I don't know. We might be on the limit. And Jacob, I can't see a fire. I thought I saw it. I don't see one. It just cooled it, bro. It ain't. That's just cool. That's all water. I smell, okay, you good, you good. I smell straight oil. Oh yeah, no, it's it's. Yeah, no, it's fucked. Yeah, you for sure. 
I knew when on the head. head I don't know. I think. No. Nah. Nah, it's it done. Fast. I think it just. It's fucked. Yeah, I think it just kicked a rod. Yeah. Cause I heard shit hitting the ground and everything. Oh, you did. Oh yeah, it's done. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, it kicked a rod. Damn it. Damn. Yeah. Oh. Was it still running? No. <laughs> Ooh, she leaking. Ooh. And we're back at the shop. Y'all already know what happened. It's pretty obvious. Um, during the race with the ZR1, as soon as we hit the gas, the car felt like it just fell on its face. Granted, at that power level, it still moves, but it doesn't move like it should. We knew something was wrong, and the moment that I put put it into fourth gear, we started getting some pretty heavy vibrations. At the time, I attributed it to just my overall driveline vibration, because this thing has a driveline vibration. Everything's solid. Um, it was a driveline vibration. It was the rods letting go. Um, it was hot. IETs got way beyond what is reasonable i should have i honestly just shouldn't have raced in that heat um got to 180 190 degrees it's not acceptable um it's really a mess up on my part uh if it was a customer's car i would have you know abandoned the run but it's my car do what i want but it's a costly mistake and it's going to cost us some time we're gonna have to get this thing back ready. We have, we've got like eight days until the rescheduling of streetcar takeover. Oh yeah, by the way, streetcar takeover got canceled because of weather. So we got, when I say eight days, it's really eight weeks, but we work on this like one day a week. So we got eight days to put a motor in it. Um, we have already inspected the bottom end through the hole that it left in the block, which I'll get a better uh, view of that here in a minute. Um, the head's damaged. That's all there is to it. Putting a block in is not a big deal. That's that's whatever. Um, the head is is the killer. There's no piston in number six. <laughs> cylinder five rod is broken in half. Cylinder six rod is broken in half. No piston in cylinder six. We can see the valves on the head. We can see clear damage. So to the chamber. So I got to pull the head off. Uh, we're gonna try to send it into somebody that can fix it. Hopefully head games can help us out fix the head Refresh it get it back going um, So we're looking at like catastrophic damage and even the turbo might be damaged. It spins freely But where'd that piston go? So If small enough chunks made its way through the exhaust manifold into the turbo, we probably have a damaged turbine wheel um, We keep <laughs> Maybe we got lucky and it's in a it's a it's in the wastegate, but I really doubt it. So, anyways, you know, the first run with the Mustang was uh, about 28 pounds of boost in third, 29 and fourth, and then fifth it like tapped 30 and then dropped to 28. So, we we didn't give it all of it. It was some of it. Um, didn't have to use any scramble. Didn't have to turn it up. It was. It was still under where we our max is. Our max is like 35. Um, so we we had a lot left on the table that we could have used if we wanted to. But honestly, um, in that heat, it's just no way. It was like 100 plus degrees outside, uh, ambient. The DA was almost 3,000. So that's a lot when you're at sea level. <laughs> um, and then we raced the ZR1, and it, it was really. We, we examined the logs in the truck afterwards. We, we brought the truck in a tow strap because we had a feeling that we were gonna send it hard and possibly blow it up. That's racing. Um, and we were out kind of far where I didn't want to get stranded. So we brought the truck and we trailered it back. But um, the second race with the ZR1, like it was already hot. When I did that burnout, the intake temps were like 120. So it had no time to pull off. The um, coolant was well into the 200s, like 210. 
I, I should have looked, I looked back and I saw the temps and I was like, oh fuck, like this is, this is not good. But we're lining up and like, what am I gonna do? Just tell the guy like, hey man, um, I know you trailered your car all the way down here from wherever and to race. And um, yeah, sorry, I can't do it. It's just not how it works. So I sent it anyways and immediately, as soon as we hit it, it was like, <laughs> gave up the ghost. Um, you'll see in the video if you've already seen it, I'm sure. Um, so anyways, I'm going to take the turbo off today. I'm going to inspect it. That if it's bad, I'm going to send it off to precision and see if they can salvage it. If they can salvage it, great. We'll throw it back on there. If it's not damaged, amazing. I'll be super excited, but I doubt it. I think the turbine wheel is going to be chewed up. If it's a catastrophic loss, we'll go to a next gen 7275 and we'll make 1200 horsepower. Um, but the plan is now to source a block. I got a stock one I can use if I want. Uh, I need to get the head fixed. That's the biggest thing is take the head off, get the head fixed. And then we'll be back at it. So uh, we always come back stronger. We're never gonna come back the same ever. So this is not going to end up being a slower car when we're done. It's gonna end up being a much faster car. So um, this car, as somebody said, my buddy uh, Justin Thuringer said, oh, you're about to be a problem. <laughs> so we gonna be a problem. <laughs> Yeah, that's not paint. That's oil. It's oil everywhere. Oil everywhere. I mean, look at the, I don't know if you can tell, but like the wastegate's covered in oil and coolant. That pink is cool. But it all came out the block. It was, it was boiling. Um, you can't really see the hole from here. I'll, I'll zoom in. The turbo actually spins okay like like normal um there's no there's no shaft play so uh, i'm gonna take the downpipe off immediately first and see how it does i kind of get one last look at this engine bay this is about as nice as it's gonna look for a while we're gonna have to pull the head and pull the block trans run in like it's it's all coming apart it's about to be a mess so i'm gonna clean up i got way too much of a mess out here i'm gonna clean up and then i'm gonna take the downpipe off we'll go from there we'll, i'll keep you guys updated um yeah sucks but that's racing Drinking their fever? Here you go, fever. You're drinking the juice.